Asana vs. Todoist vs. Trello, best project management software tool in 2021. Hi guys, today I am comparing Asana, Trello and Todoist to figure out which one is the best project management software for you to use in 2021. So let's get started. Our first we have Todoist. Now all of these Asana, Trello and Todoist, all of these project management apps are actually amazing and they are best in their own way and they're kind of all of them are very famous so when it comes to asana asana is one of the oldest project management apps and one of the most famous when it comes to project managing apps asana is always there you might have heard about asana and the um, outlook of Asana is pretty different from others as well. If you like graphs, if you like flowcharts, then Asana kind of gives you that. Then we have Trello. Now Trello is also one of the most famous project management apps out there and it has boards and templates stuff like this you know so if you like you know the view of sticky notes and templates and boards this is what you get on trello and then we have to do is to do is actually a little different from asana and trello because uh, the outlook of this management app is actually amazing and it is very advanced and very upgraded from asana and trello uh, so let's compare their pricing first so you get an idea that which one is cheaper than the other. So let's go to Todoist pricing first and let me show you what, what is the pricing of Todoist because whenever we're using a management app or software, we want to you know, know about the pricing first. So you can see right here the pricing plan is very simple. They have a free plan which is of course $0 and then there is Pro for power users which is $3. And then there is a business plan, which is $5. Way cheaper, guys. Like, that is so cheap. And you can see what we get in these pricings. Um, so let me show you the other pricings as well. And then I will show you what are the, the features all of these different apps offer. So let's go to Asana's pricing now. And let's compare it to Todoist. And let's see which one is cheaper than the other. You can see right here, this is the pricing plan for Asana. Now Asana has a basic plan, which is $0. And then there is premium, which is $10, which is $13 if built monthly. And then business plan, which is $24. So guys, we just saw Todoist. You can see right here. This was for Todoist and this is for Asana. Todo is much, much cheaper than Asana. Like you can see right here that the business plan for Asana is $25, like almost $25. So that's a lot. And then if we go to the pricing of Trello, you can see right here, uh, the free plan is $0, standard is five, premium is 10 and enterprise is almost $18 so trello i think you know stands in between asana and todoist because it's expensive than todoist but it's cheaper than asana so this is what their pricing looks like if you're wondering about the pricing so according to pri pricing i think todoist is the winner for that and then you can see that asana is a little expensive so let's check out the different features they have so you can see right here in asana you actually get a lot of cool features. For example, your tasks, unlimited tasks, project, activity log. You can, you know, review boards. You can make lists. You can uh, have assignees, due dates, calendars, everything like that. But as the programs or as the uh, plans increase, your features also increase. For example, you get forms, rules, task templates, milestones, admin console. So you get all of these stuff also if we go to trello now trello this is where i am at the dashboard of trello because i personally use trello as well i used to use trello now here is a thing that i will you know personally say about trello trello is actually good but uh if we talk about 
big business if you have a big company and there are more than um maybe 10 more than 10 people working then trello kind of you know lags back in most of the features and you eventually feel that you need to switch up to a better project management app so that's the thing about trello but if you are a beginner then i think trello is very beginner friendly and you can use it very easily you get these boards you have templates you can you know have a good workplace to work on and then if we talk about to do is let me go to its features and show you around okay you can see right here um that on to do is it's like simply if you want to add a task you simply click on add task or you can click on quick add button as well where just you just simply you know add the title of the task and click on add task and you, your task is created and then there is this thing which is called the priority level you can actually you know prior your tasks and you can give them these labels which is pretty cool you can also do that on other platforms as well and it's very cheap so you know you are getting a lot of cool features in less pricing that's what i will say about todoist so uh you can see right here that you can actually prioritize your tasks according to their need and then you can actually share the workload from business ventures to grocery list divide and conquer so the good thing about to do is that it's simple and yet it's very professional you can see right here that you can actually personalize your task views you can create boards you can create labels there are filters there are different themes that you can actually do as well so i actually you know wanted to show you around to do is as well uh, but unfortunately they did not allow me to create an account for now I don't know why that happened but but the signing up process that actually brings us to the point uh the signing up process for all of these management softwares is completely free and it is super easy you simply log in with your email address or your google account so you just simply click log in with your google account and then you get your own workplace so in that manner they are all pretty good so if we go to Trello right here and let me show you that you know how Trello actually works. For example, when you have a workplace, you simply get like this. If it's a shared workplace, you will simply click on that and then you will get a view of that workspace. So you can see right here that this is what a board looks like on Trello and you you know have a an idea the all of all the members and you can have these you know boards and lists uh the thing was that that when we switched to the other management app uh the the problem was that you don't get these numbers on the lists like how many tasks are there you don't get the numbers and apparently when when the team increases you will eventually have to switch that's what i said but asana is actually very good for big businesses if you have a big team then you can definitely go ahead and do it with asana and then there are integrations you can actually you know integrate anything into any of these for example on to do is there are many integrations that you you can you know have you can have google calendars and um, anything you know any other tools that you want to integrate the same thing goes for asana as well uh, you can integrate anything you want to on to your asana onto your workplace so you can you know have a better management workplace and then again on trello you can also you know integrate stuff like that but not that much as compared to asana and todoist uh integration wise trello is okayish but asana and todoist are actually the winners in integrations if we talk about so yeah guys i think this brings us to the end of the video and i hope that i was a big help to you i just wanted to show you around all of these platforms just to give you an overview of that how their pricing works and how these platforms actually you know what are they offering and uh, you know so when you are making a decision and you're deciding which management software you're going with you can have a little idea about these platforms so make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel